Hello, everybody. Um, I'd just like to say to the people in the back who are ignoring what's about to happen, come forward. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I'm watching the group with the, the tall guy with the cowboy hat. Come on up. Let's go. Don't make me say it again. Come on. It's a nice party. You can come up here. A lot of people have some heartfelt words they want to say to you. Let's go. This is being recorded for posterity. It's important. Come on. Step up. All right. I, first of all, I would like to thank my parents, and, and I would also like to uh, thank uh, Steve and Jane for throwing this great weekend for everybody. We should all thank them. A little round of applause. Okay. That could have been a little louder, but you guys are just getting warmed up. All right. Let's hear it from the Simons. Now, I, I just, I'm not giving a speech or anything. I'm the MC, but you know, I should introduce things. I want to really thank Evan and Laura for meeting, falling in love, and getting married, because otherwise we wouldn't all get to hang out in Arizona this weekend. So thank you, guys. And I will say that um, I was consulting with several gynecologists in the room. Laura, we have your ovulation schedule down. We have expectations. So, you know, after the next couple days, there's some responsibility. If you need help with the calendar, just give us a call. It's been mapped out. It's been charted. All right? Now, um, by the way, my name's Adam. It's really nice to see you all. I'm really happy you all came. Welcome. All right. So there's some words to be spoken here tonight from some people who really care about Laura and Evan and want to talk to you. And the first two people I'm going to call up here are two people I know real well, my mom and dad, Fred and Trudy Slater. Um, not much to say about them other than come on up. Their words will speak volumes. Come on up. Nice work, Ed. i am like to officially welcome everybody and thank so many of you coming all the way to our boy it, it's blinding up here you see nothing uh coming all the way to arizona to share with us this fabulous celebration of the wedding of laura and evan um I haven't, I didn't know I was going to be here. I prepared nothing. <laughs> and accordingly, I'm going to turn the microphone over to oh Trudy, <laughs> who I'm sure has volumes to say. Oh, well, I don't have volumes. Not quite volumes, but I would like to thank everyone also for coming. And many of you on our, from our side, celebrating with us tonight have been really, really old friends of ours, and it's really wonderful to share this with you. And I have a few friends who, um, I'm not gonna go into it right now, but they were, <laughs> I'm just joking, <laughs> I'm not saying anything about it. Okay, no inside jokes. All right, anyway, you were all very anxiously awaiting Evan, Evan's marriage. And he found her last year, and they just fell in love, and that was it. They stopped, you know, that was it. They just saw each other and uh, made a commitment. And we're grateful that you're all able to be here with us to share their wedding and um, their vows. And their happiness has just gone through, passed through everyone, I think. Everyone feels their happiness, and we're all happy for both of them. And um, just really terrific. Really we're, we're, we're really happy <laughs> that they are so happy. <laughs> Enjoy everyone else. Let me, let me, I, right, well, one, one more. It, it occurs to me <laughs> that I wish for them, I wish for Evan especially, but for both of them, I, I spent today on the golf course with Evan and Adam and my nephew, Mark. And I have to tell you, I only hope that someday that he can share and they can share such an experience. There's just absolutely nothing that 
compares to it. Adam played pretty well. He wanted me to make that point. Uh, in closing, I'm just going to say it occurs to me uh, a very wise person gave me some advice when I was very newly married. Uh, and he said, if you want to ensure that you're going to have a long, successful marriage, heed these words. And I'm going to repeat them for the benefit of Laura and Evan now. He said, when you're wrong, admit it. And when you're right, shut up. <laughs> very so Laura and, uh, Laura and Evan, uh, a long lifetime, abundant with health and joy and many, many kids.